hello 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 you all welcome 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 and welcome back my craft a lot crew you are watching craft a lot tv with your girl keisha and in today's video we are going to be doing some planner decorating if you're new here i would like to welcome you to the channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome back make sure you all hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime i upload a video if you're not sub subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it you guys so this is an old planner notebook that i had and i've decided that i was going to kind of repurpose it to kind of use it for planning out my video content okay so here's a few pages that i just decorated um, these pages were already written on. I just went over them with some um, note paper sheets um, and stickers and things like that. It was kind of written on like this one here. As you can see, this one here is like stuck together. So, oh, no, I'm pulling off my decorations, y'all. Lord have mercy. So this is one of the pages. So we're going to decorate this page, okay? So I plan on using this book, like I stated, to kind of plan out my video content. So this one, as you can see here, it has months here, but it doesn't have like um, like a monthly calendar, which is fine. I just wanted just to kind of jot down notes um, for videos that I'm going to be doing. So each page is going to be dedicated to a video, okay? Um... I'll eventually cover these up because they're not needed or I'll probably just go ahead and cut them off. But this is an old planner notebook, 12 month planner agenda that I had. I just decided to repurpose it. So here is a page that I decorated. Like I said, I just put some note pages and some stickers just to kind of jot down notes for videos. Um, I recently started another YouTube channel because I am a nurse. So I want to start doing some nursing content for nurses. That's a different channel, but I'm just stating that here because that's why I have this um, nurse sticker here. Um, so this first section will probably be like notes for some of my nursing videos. I started to do like um, a book for each channel, but just so we can use up this book, I'm going to use this here first section for um, the nursing videos that I plan on doing. Um, so here's one that I decorated. I decided to leave the back page of each sheet blank just for extra notes and things, okay? Here's another one that I decorated as well. And for my notes, this one probably won't have a note section over here unless I put, I could put some um, lined paper here um but each decorated sheet will go with a line sheet just in case i need um extra space for notes like here i have a space for notes just to jot down stuff um as far as video content and then here is an extra sheet um just for extra space if needed as you can see i used a stethoscope stethoscope sticker um just because this, like I said, this first section here will probably be for some of my nursing videos. Um, and probably further down the line, I'll probably break the sections up because this is a lot of note space that's really not needed. Even for this here, I'll probably break it up. So there's a section here, a section here, just to kind of have more space, okay? So as I stated, as you can see, I have stuff written here on this page, but we are going to decorate this page here. And it's not a lot of pages in each section. I probably ripped some out, but um, let's just go to the back because I'm sure it's a section back here. I've probably written in all the sections. This looks like a section I haven't bothered. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's seven sheets, it looked like in each section so that's not a lot so like i said eventually i'll probably break these up so it'll be a section here at the top and then a section here at the bottom section here section here okay so let's get moving with decorating this um 
I probably need to pull some, put some more um, double-sided tape on the back of that other side over there. But anyway, we're going to focus on this side here. We're going to decorate this. And I'm going for like a gold, black, and white um, type of thing. No, and probably some silver. So I have these here papers that I got from... These came from the Dollar Tree. I just pulled them out just because I plan on doing like maybe gold, black, white, and silver type of theme. So I may use these. I may not. Um, I also have this paper studio paper pack that I've been had for a while. So these are the colors in here, which is the colors that we're going to go for. The gold, black, and white. Um, these are really pretty. I don't even know why I initially bought this but we're gonna use something out of here so we're gonna get started with as i just stated i probably wouldn't use this but i think i'm gonna use a piece of it so let me just grab my paper cutter butter i got this here paper cutter from um where did i get this from i think i got this from ross i got this from ross i have a better paper cutter um that I got from uh, Michael's. It's just not in front of me at the, the moment. So I'm just gonna slide this in here. For this paper cutter, you have to kind of lift up on the little ruler, slide your paper underneath, and then you can cut. And as you can see, my cutter is here in the middle. So you have to press down and then slice. And I'm gonna cut again, just in case. Not sure if I'm gonna use a large piece or a small piece. So, so again, I stated I got these here from the Dollar Tree in a paper um, pack. And I think it was probably like, I don't even know how many pieces was in a pack, probably about 10. All right, so here's my notebook. I should probably go ahead and cut this silver one as well. Just in case we decide to use it. We'll probably have more paper that we're gonna be cutting because like I stated, we're gonna use some paper from our paper pack that I just showed you, but I may use these as well. So this is a good way to use old planners. Um, let's say if you have old notebooks or old planners that you started out using, but then you moved on to something else. I know myself, I always um, do that. I'm always buying planners and notebooks. I'll start out using them and then I'll move on to something else. So this still have a lot of pages in it that's unused. So like I said, I'm gonna use it to kind of, um, you know, plan out some of my video content just so I can kind of try to stay on task. Okay, so I think I'm gonna lean more towards the gold I'm not sure if I want to use this big piece or a small piece. I'll probably use a small one. So I'm going to adhere this down with some double-sided tape. I actually have this here, double-sided tape. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, This might have came from Walmart. I normally have a roller um, double-sided tape, but they're all out so i need to get some more this is one but this is from the dollar tree i'm not sure how good it works because i never really use this but this is double-sided tape as well from the dollar tree let's just try this because that one kind of hurt my fingers when i'm ripping it but that's all i have at the moment so that's what we got to use but let's just try this out right here so i'm just gonna stick this here at the top like i stated this is a good way to use notebooks as you can see i wrote jotted down some notes on there i don't even know what that's for or what it's from but we're gonna make use of this and we're gonna cover all this uh it's probably a page here there and in between that's written on like jotted on like here we're gonna use all this y'all trust me okay so there is my goal sheet If you have notebooks with like lined paper, you can use that as well. So this is here, 
This here is just a notebook with some lined paper. I'm going to use a sheet of this just to put here over this gold sheet. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this with my scissors. I'm going to use one of the lines as my guide. that like so i'm gonna put this piece to the side because i may end up using it um i'm gonna use some of this double-sided tape again like i said this one here came from the dollar tree i think they come i don't know it's been a while since i bought this i think they come maybe two or three in the pack so we just gonna put this on top of here like that um let me just grab my paper cutter because i did Knock it over. All right, I'm gonna just move this to the side for a second. We're gonna slice this up into smaller pieces. that to the side and we're gonna go ahead and adhere this down right here again y'all this is such an easy way to first of all decorate your planner and then if you like me like i said and you somebody that you started out using it and you stopped and you moved on to something else this is a good idea okay so before I adhere this, because I might not even use that, let's just see if we can find some sticker boxes that we like. Kind of like, let me just show y'all what I'm looking for. Kind of like some sticker boxes like these that you could put little notes in um, that kind of matches the theme that we're going for here. There's some in here, like I said, but I really just don't remember where they are. I got a bunch of these books, so I am, like I said, I am going to use one of these. I'm just going to try to line it up and get it on here straight. Of course, those circles aren't lined up with my line, but it's okay. It's okay. Hopefully I'm in view. Y'all can see me. So we just gonna pop that sticker there. And then if you want, you could put like some um some inspirational quote type of um stickers on there if you like. I'm gonna use this one. trying to let you straight but sometimes it just don't work out that way i just get it as straight as i can as y'all can see that's real crooked if i try to lift it up it may rip i mean if i'm really careful it'll lift up but let's see if we can get it a little more straighter straighter the struggle y'all the struggle 
let's just try to move it up. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue to look in my sticker books just to find some stickers that I like so we can kind of complete this. Now I'm gonna use one of these. This here came from Dollar Tree as well. Um, I actually recently bought it, but as you can see, this started in January 2023, so it's almost um, expired. I think I only paid one cent for this because um, the lady rung it up and she was like, oh, I think this rung up for one cent. I can't sell it. She said, when it does that, I can't sell it. But what she did was she just took the one cent off and she let me get it anyway. So I don't want flowers um, in this um, design. Like I said, I'm gonna use this here paper. So I'm just gonna cut, and I actually could keep it and just cover this up with something, but I'm just gonna cut this down. So we're gonna use this line here as our guide, and I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna save this here piece of paper just in case we use it for something else. I ain't too disappointed in this Dollar Tree double-sided tape, y'all. Like I told y'all, I haven't used it before. Um, it's just been in my stash. All right, so we just gonna put that there. Now this here has some gold and black stuff in it. So, Let's just get this here. And this came from Hobby Lobby. And I believe I got it when Paper Studio stuff was half off, so I paid half price of this, okay? Normally when I get stuff at Hobby Lobby, I just try to get it when it's, um, you know, half price. So I'm gonna just put, I was gonna put this here, but I'm gonna put it up here. Try to get it where it's not hanging off the edge. And I still gotta cover all this up, which I will. I do have some stickers that I got from um, the Dollar Tree as well. I may use those. If you want, you could just add new paper if you want. You don't even have to do all this with the stickers and stuff. But if you want to, sometimes it's kind of motivating. You know, you're writing on a pretty surface. Um, so it's just a lot of different note boxes. You can use like the, um, you can jot down like the questions you're gonna ask or just kind of like the flow of your video. You know, the equipment that you're gonna need, you know, whatever. So like I said, that's just all I'm gonna use this for. Pretty much. All right, let me just see if I see the stickers that I have. And this is gonna be one of my nursing pages. So I might use one of those. Um, I do have these gold stickers. I have some other ones though that I wanna use if I can find them, y'all. Hopefully I didn't put them back to look. So let me just see if I see the stickers. Let me just see. We'll also see what we can find inside of this here sticker book. Um, all right, here's the stickers I was looking for. So I have these stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna use these. I'm not sure if they're like see-through stickers. Hopefully they're not, because I wanna kind of cover this up with some stickers. Let's move that to the side. So anytime you're at the Dollar Tree, y'all, make sure y'all 
check out the stickers that they have. Because if you want to do something like this, you can use their stickers. So what we're going to do is... I'm just going to add like a cluster of stickers here. Just to kind of cover up that. See that's hanging off the edge. I'll just have to cut, which is okay with me. So I'm just randomly adding some of these stickers, y'all. I know this look a little busy. I'll probably just add one more here. I know it looks a little busy, you guys, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just using what I got to kind of just do something to this here. Sheet. I don't want too much. Maybe I just use some of these plain hearts. I'll put one right here. Just use these, some of these to kind of add some accents around. I'll probably leave this blank space right here. Put a heart right here. This one is real, real busy. So what I'm gonna do is these are chalkboard stickers but i'm going to use um one of these just to kind of i don't know just to kind of tone it down a little bit <laughs> um these also came from the dollar tree so i'm gonna just put this here, don't want to put it here. I'm trying to get this as straight as I can. So I'm going to just put that there. And I'll probably put one up here somewhere. Like I said, I know it look a little busy, but it's all right. very very busy <laughs> but it's okay i could have went across here with some um some washi tape or some um tape strips just to kind of get rid of that blue but it's okay y'all i'm just gonna leave it i'm just gonna leave it so i'm just gonna take like i said this is one of my nursing pages so i'm just gonna put one of my nursing stickers on there That's just a band-aid. I'm just gonna put that right there like that. And like I said, I'll probably come back because I don't think I'm gonna use this whole section for, you know, one video idea or whatever. Um, But that pretty much is it for this video, you guys. I'm gonna add one more heart. It's actually a flower here that I could use. A little diamond here, a smaller heart here. Um, I'll probably add one more heart here and maybe one here. But that is, actually let's just go with the flowers. Put the flower here. And then we're gonna take a flower from right here. 
paper stuck to my finger. I get it off later. I'm gonna take another flower and put it right here. Okay, you guys, so that is pretty much it for this here. Again, I just took and covered up where I had already written. I have a note section here I can write in. I have an area here I can write in. Um, here as well as here. Um, here, here, and here. Okay. So, I know it looked a little busy, but it's okay. It's okay. It's for me. I'm going to use it. So, when you, if you decide to do this, just do it to your liking. You can add as much as you want, as less as you want. I showed you how you can just cut up regular sheets and cover um, or just add them to your canvas just so you can have spaces to write. So, here is the page that we just did, okay? I have two more to do in this here section. But I'll come back in another video and do that. Hopefully you all like this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you can see yourself doing something like this, let me know. If you think it's a waste of time, just comment down below and let me know. Um, but again, I like this notebook and it still has a lot of pages in it. So this is just a way for me to just use these pages in this book. It's also a way for me to, you know, try to get on task, you know, um, really sitting down and decorating a page like this it probably take every bit of five minutes especially if you get all your stuff together you know where all your stickers that you're going to use uh, for me i was just flipping through the stickers um i didn't have anything planned out so it could probably take you about five minutes to do something like this maybe 10 um but pretty much five minutes. But hopefully y'all like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Like I said, comment down below. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and until next time, you guys, this is it. Hopefully you all like this video. Bye.